So let's say that you need this form to be duplicated. You need to create another one. Now you could just copy and paste everything that's on this form and you know bring it over to another one and do that multiple times until you get the amount that you need. And if you're doing this, you may not know how many the user wants to open in the end. So you don't want to end up with 20 forms and that still not be enough. This is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to do it under menu strip. Um, but if you have a button, a radio button, or whatever it is, anything that can basically have code can be done with this. You know, it's just like basic visual basic stuff here. So um, I'm going to be showing under menu strip. It's going to be under the file and new. Okay. Now there's only two lines of code here. So it's very simple. Now what we want to do is do dim. And I usually do this something that's associated with the form. Now, this is going to be the name that you give it. So, this is as if you go to this form and rename it. Um, you're just going to create another name for this. So, I normally just do some that's, you know, with the form. So, you know, like in my Visual Basic tutorial, I did tab because um, it was acting as a tab page. Um, just for this tutorial, I'm just going to simply do F. And, of course, you want to create that as a new form. So, we're going to create that as a new form, but we need to base that form off of something. And what we're going to base it off of is that form that we already created. So it's form one. Okay. And if you don't know the form name, uh, you can go here and it usually says it at the top. You can also click um, on the Chrome up here, the top here. And you can go down here and if you scroll all the way to the top, you'll see it right here. Um, and it should give you the name. So after that, you're just going to simply hit enter. And now we just basically need to show that form. So we just do f.show. And there we go. So now if I go ahead and debug this, and I go File, New, and if I go File, New, okay, and this also works if I go on the duplicated form, File, New. So you can see that I can create just about as many as I want on here. Of course, you could add, um, you know, a key combo, uh, you know, to go ahead and, you know, make it like Control N or whatever it is to fix that. And as you can see, you can close this and uh, go and Control N, close that one, I'll close it all. So Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, um, and of course I'll be doing more Visual Basic tutorials on this channel, so stay, stay tuned for those. And thank you for watching.